And we're recording. Okay, great. Um, so I made this real quick. I don't know why. I don't know if it's really necessary. <laughs> but if you want to use a, a Flux Pro, there's three models of Flux. There's, um, I think it's called Schnell, Dev, and Pro, I think are the versions. With uh, Dev being the middle, Schnell being the smallest, and Pro being the, the expensive version. Um, I used, here, I'm going to actually start this real quick. Here you have the tools, right? They're the tools, the variables. So I'm putting here a prompt. All right. I don't know, whatever. Let's put um, a roaring lion. It's my favorite. Okay, we're just click OK. We're going to click run once. And while it's running, I'll show you what I used to get API. There's a service called Replicate, replicate.com. And just make an account there. I'll warn you right now, each generation of Pro is 55, uh, 5.5 cents each, I think. It cost me 22 cents to generate these four. So five and a half cents each generation, which I think is like a penny and a half more than uh, Dolly 3. So it's pretty expensive, relatively speaking. Uh, so you just want to set up your billing, go to into Replicate, make a new account, go to your account settings, set up your billing right here, blah, 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 send your spending limit. 28 cents, all I'm generating right now. <laughs> it's like 28 cents. Um, and then get your token. There's a there's a default token. You could just take that. You don't have to create a new one if you don't want. Once you've done that, that's all you need from here. You'll take this. I'll give you guys a copy of this, uh, this scenario. There's a better way to do this. I have it wait here for like a minute. And I know you could basically, the, the ideal way of doing it is doing a get request to check if it's ready right here and just looping it and checking every like, I don't know, four seconds or whatever you want until it's ready. Because you can see in the variable times right here of the generation, it was like big variables, right? It was from anywhere from 15 to 62 seven seconds. Because it's cute. So that's like a, <laughs> that's a bit of a, that could be an issue. So ideally you'd want to set a loop here to check whether it's ready or not instead of just waiting for a minute and a half or whatever. Um, but we'd have to double check with, I can't remember how to do that. I saw it once through, um, I think it was Travis showed me. But yeah, that's what it'll do. It'll go over here. It's going to make the request. It's going to wait for it to finish or to get the link to download it, download it, or just upload it somewhere. I'll show you the results of these two that I uploaded. This is one I did before. Pretty cool looking, right? Here's what I just did with the Roaring line. Let's see what it turned out. It's pretty cool, right? It's pretty good uh, quality. Uh, and this, I made this for my my uh, daughter. I said, make Minnie Mouse with my uh, daughter's name, Penina. And this is what it generated. So that's one of the things that, that attracted me to Flux Pro right now is the fact that it's not quote unquote censored, i.e. you could use things like actual corporate imagery and stuff like that, like Minnie Mouse, for example, or Disney logo, whatever, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I'll let you guys have this stuff, of course. <laughs> okay, bye.